Also tonight, we're learning more about the man accused of passing counterfeit money all over town. Mm -hmm. Friday at 5.30, we broke the story about the phony bills. And then this weekend, the suspect, Jason Eastridge, turned himself in to Portsmouth Police. Right now, he's out on bond. Turn on your sides, Andy Fox is live in Portsmouth with more on who this investigation is about. Andy. Hey guys, Jason Eastridge lives here in the downtown Portsmouth area. Lives over on Dinwiddie Street, about two blocks away. Worked right over here at Broody's until last year when he got fired. Now charged with passing counterfeit money, five felony counts, three places right here on High Street, including right here at Jimmy John's. This is 29-year-old Jason Eastridge. On Friday night, police searched his home in Portsmouth and say they found evidence associated with counterfeit money. We went to his house today. Who is it? Uh, looking for Jason? Uh, he's not here right now. Someone on the other side said Jason Eastridge wasn't there. We do not know if that was indeed Eastridge himself. We took his mugshot to places that got stuck with counterfeit money. Is this the guy? Yeah. Yes. Jason Eastridge. Yes, this one. So that is definitely the guy that came yes. in here and yes. passed the phony money yes. to you. Deli owner Ahmed Algamal says Eastridge had a small boy with him when he stopped by the deli. Across the street at the coffee shop, they recognize Eastridge too. Is this the guy that passed the bad 50s in here? Yes. Eastridge once worked at Broody's, but got fired two months ago for stealing food. Owner Charles Greenhood. Raw meat and buns, and, and we found it, and I confronted him, and he admitted to it. We took Eastridge's mugshot to London Plaza Seafood. Is that yes. the guy? Uh -huh. You're sure? Yes. Quang and Danny Chan remember April 22nd at closing time. They say this is the video of Jason Eastridge and a woman who came in and tried to buy two catfish sandwiches using a $100 bill. They knew right away it wasn't real money. Yeah, so he wasn't you know, the real money. When I took the money, I tried to look at it. He said, right away, he said, what's wrong? I said, what do you mean, what's wrong? This is fake. And I gave it to him. He said, what's wrong, what's wrong? I said, well, I we, check it out, and I show it to him. Yeah. So I we said, don't take the money. I just pressed to him. Eastridge and the woman leave. The Chons using the video surveillance, get the car license plate, and call police. Yes. Now, here's the bottom line. I've been doing some checking on Mr. Eastridge, and here's the bottom line on that. Last year, found guilty, two counts, grand larceny. Been in trouble before. He'll be back in court on Friday. It'll be interesting to see exactly what happens in these cases as to whether or not uh, how that will impact his being on probation for the cases last year of grand larceny, those two cases last year. We'll keep you updated on this story. Imports with Andy Fox, 10 on your side.